Hello everyone, my name is Masi and I would like to take you through a step-by-step guide uh, for applying for the Google Africa Developer Scholarship Program 2020 and I would want to just walk you through this because a number of uh, us are having difficulties in terms of where do I go next after applying. Twenty twenty, and should take us to this same landing page. And once you are at this landing page, please take your time to read through the program details, what you stand to gain, uh, acceptance to the program. So probably you have already applied here, uh, but just walking through every step of the way that you, everything that you need to do. So. First of all, uh, you might notice the onboarding survey first, but we'll get to it. So let's focus on the three tasks that we want to apply on Pro's site. So before I forget also as well, uh, please make sure you read the Help Center article. It has a lot of information about the program that you would not want to miss. So the next thing would be just as choosing the track that we want to to select for this program. So note that the experience will be a bit different on your mobile if you're using your phone. Uh, but here the tabs are just assigned each other. So remember that and note it on your phone. It might be a bit confusing. So make sure you have noted that. So for instance, here we are going to apply for Android track so this is android register for android and i have already applied so i'm just going to make it fast by walking you through this so the most important thing here would be the email address that you're using make sure the email address that you're using is consistent across all the forms that you're going to be filling or the email that you're using is the email that you're going to be using through the program so enter your email your names your title and country so remember the program is only available for people from africa so after that ensure you read the terms of use and privacy policy click on this agree and activate your benefit so once you do that it's going to take you to ProSite uh, page so that you can log in or create your account. And once you log in, uh, this is the landing page that you will get. So once you log in with the details that you use to apply for the program, or rather with your password and email, it will take you to your landing page. And there are two things that you need to note here that will are very important in order to make it to learn it free. So the onboarding survey and watching one hour of course content. So you're going to start with the onboarding survey. So click on this uh, as a hyperlink and this is the onboarding survey but I've already filled it and as I mentioned the email is very important. So the email you use on Pro site ensure you use it to fill the baseline survey as well. And they it's a couple of fields about details about you and the, what I wanted uh, to also mention would be on the next page. So as I mentioned, the track that you choose on Pro site should be the same track that you choose on on your baseline survey. So I'm choosing Android here. So you might notice that on Pro site you are able to to register for different tracks, but the track that you're going to be selected would for would be the track that you select here. So make sure you select that wisely as well. And then we would have we will have applied on Pro site. Then we have applied. Uh, we have filled the baseline survey. So the last thing that we need to do is engage with at least one hour of course content. So I'll just click on this here, and it will take you directly to the channel, the Android channel, and 
I've already joined, but I'm going to link so that you can see how to do that. So ensure you join the channel. You can see a couple of people already here, and the advantage of that is it's going to show you of your progress. So you're going to just analyze the courses that you have here and choose what or which course you want to learn. So for instance, if I'm new, I would want to to start with what's programming really, right? So remember, we are not limiting you with the content that you can engage with, but at least one hour of course content. So you'll just start engaging with content and it could be us starting with that and starting to engage with the content. So once you are done with this, it's going to show you the, um, the next modules that you need to engage with. However, I know a number of us don't have the time to engage with the content immediately once we have completed signing up. So what uh, we are advising you to do is block time on your calendar. So for instance, here I block time to engage with the content every 7 to 8 p.m. or 9 to 10 p.m. So that would be like really useful for you to to do so that you can just block time to engage with the content. Once you're done with engaging with the content, I would say you are all set.